Hi. Okay, so before I start my 422, in case you guys see anything running around or moving my computer, it's two puppies running around and playing, just so you know. Alright, so for my 422 on No Zombies Allowed, um, the first quote I chose was, Do you think that girls and other that girl and other guests on talk shows get used, in a sense, by the producers and the hosts? I think this is a really good question to ask because it's really thought-provoking for students and requiring them to look past what they're watching and see what the show is doing and showing them and representing other people as. Um, the next um, quote I chose is kind of long, so I'll summarize the beginning of it. Um, it starts with the two girls singing don't chasing water don't go chasing waterfalls please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to and then the professor or then their teacher Mr. Mitchie joined in with them um, for the chorus on the next line shocking the girls and they were like you know that song um, and he answered sarcastically I do have a radio it's on every five minutes um, we noticed you know what it's about or we love that song, Veronica chirped. And then he said, I noticed. Do you know what it's about? And the girls kind of looked at each other, not really knowing what he was talking about, thinking it was just about waterfalls and probably nature and prettiness. And he said, not quite. You two sing it every day. Have you ever thought about what, it's, what it is they're talking about? And the girls didn't know how to answer the question. So they just said, we like the music, and shrugged their shoulders. He wanted the girls to go analyze the song, something that not many kids really think to do with music nowadays. Most music has a catchy beat or fun words to sing along to, but what are these songs really saying to them? And what are we are we using them in the right way when we express them in media to them? I mean, a song could be about marijuana and think that it's a kid's tune like Puff the Magic Dragon. Um, my next quote was, I also wanted to help them become more active and aware as viewers of television and com consumers of media. Um, I really agree with his approach for this class because it gives students more skills and a better understanding of society that they live in and how people are. And um, then to finish that, he quoted again, learning to view TV and other media more critically helps combat feelings of powerlessness and marginalization. It provokes them to use their brains, to think, something many students don't do because technology is right at the touch of their fingers, so they can just Google it or go on YouTube and see a video how to do it. My questions are, how can we utilize this information and this course to help other students, schools, and states. I think this course should probably be spread out. I mean, anybody can watch a TV show and analyze it, so why not have a class that has something to do with education and teaching you how to use those skills properly? Um, and then my other, uh, my other question is, what other ways can teachers help expand students' learning in the real world? This could be um, incorporating math into having them do a grocery bill or a grocery list for the week and only having a certain amount of money. They have to use their math skills to figure out the um, taxes and all of that other stuff and how they're going to ration their money out. Or in a history class, they have to go back and maybe see what history is happening now and not just a protest, but what history could it become um, for the future generations. And then, so I could really only come up with one, like, story for me, but I guess it's kind of two. Um, I really wish that I had a chance to take a course like this. It sounds really thought-provoking and um, beneficial to students, especially nowadays in the um, technology generation. I do not enjoy watching news or most talk shows because they're just too abrupt most times or negative and that's not really how I want to see the world. So they don't really interest me and I don't always understand why they do what they do on TV. Maybe it's entertaining for some people but for me it's just not as appealing. Um, I took computer classes though when I was in middle school because it was a magnet school so we were required to um, and we talked a little bit about social media but it wasn't enough for me to remember anything, so I feel like that class only taught me how to write a paper or make a PowerPoint for college classes. Um, 
I think students in the class from this article will remember these stories and all of the things they watched and analyzed for many years, hopefully, and be able to um, change the opinions of others, hopefully. I mean, maybe if they can spread the class and have more than just 12 students in it at a time. But, um, so that was pretty much all for my 422. I can show you guys the puppies if you want. They're over here playing, kind of being annoying, but that's about it. All right, thank you.